Most of the children, they come here with waterborne disease. So many children under five suffer from diarrhea. They're complaining about the abdominal pain, your skin lashes. They get waterborne illness through drinking water. Most of the community members had little knowledge regarding the use of safe water and what safe water is. Because most of the water we use it without knowing it is affected with disease or not. So we need to test them so that we make sure that the water is safe or not safe. A lot of people have the idea that water quality is too hard to do in the field and it's too complicated. Having to transport samples, having to have reliable electricity, having to heat samples or keep samples at certain temperatures or put them in refrigerators. But um, probably the biggest challenge uh, is, is actually the, the, the cost. The price was really high, up to $300 a test. Uh, so all those things come together to make it really difficult to use a traditional laboratory approach uh, when you're testing water. What's been missing is the really simple, cheap test kit, and that solution came from above. On the space station, we recycle almost all of the water that the astronauts drink, and that constitutes a risk because um, if that water became contaminated, the astronauts would have to abandon the space station in, in the worst case scenario. What we needed on the space station was something that was small, uh, easy to transport, and didn't require a lot of training for the astronauts. We developed a water test kit that was really easy to use um, and used off-the-shelf components, and we called that the Microbial Water Analysis Kit, or MWAC. It's basically a bag that changes color in it, and the astronauts just had to hook it up to the water system, take the sample, store it overnight, and read it the next day. It worked great, and then it's still in use today. This was when we realized we had a chance to make a difference in the world using the same technology that was used by NASA, but applied in a remote area of a developing country. We started in water for the biggest health crisis on the planet, which is a lack of safe water. The test kit is revolutionary because of its cost. It lowers the cost of testing water points from hundreds of dollars to about five to seven dollars. It can be done on site in the remote region, and it can give you a result within 24 hours. I take a sample today, tomorrow I have a result. To use a M water kit is very easy. But we learned that testing water by itself wasn't enough. With the mobile app, people could map water sources and record the data. So that way we're building sort of a global database of water information that, that everybody can contribute to and share with others. So what that meant was people who before didn't have a feasible and affordable way to test water suddenly had a, a, the means to know which water sources around them were safe. It's made people much more aware of the issues of water quality. That's a very powerful thing. And that's all due to technology that we've borrowed from the International Space Station. So now we're able to assemble a really low-cost water quality test kit to ship all over the world. We've been working with the local health ministry and the water utility in Mwanza, Tanzania since 2013. Through that technology, most of the citizens in Mwanza have an increased awareness regarding the kind of water they use and whether it causes them any waterborne illnesses or not. People are now treating their water and avoiding sources of water which could be contaminated. I've seen a growing awareness. It is very unusual for technology that is used in international space stations to be used in developing countries like Tanzania, but it, it, it can be used and it should be used because this technology is not limited to only developed countries, but for all humankind.